He was, in a way, at the center of events, perhaps as much in Paris as in New York. Even though he came from the parochial background of a small Midwestern town, he could be at ease with and enjoy contact and business connections with some of the most influential men in Europe and America. He was controlling the levers of credit and making the world work financially at a, through some very, very stressful times. What they were looking for was they were looking for judgment and character and breadth of experience. And that was key. And Dean Jay had those things. Now, although he came from a, a, a Midwest background distant from, say, Jack Morgan's background, uh, he had a varied experience and he could deal with people, and dealing with people was absolutely critical. His eyes were open, his heart was open when he spoke with you. You felt you were the most important person in the room. And he did that by not only looking at you, but also by listening. His career was one based on relationships. And the relationships, I think a lot of them came from the hospitality she arranged, really, and was responsible for. I know that Grandpa Jay came from humble circumstances. He was always a fabulous character at connecting to other people. So he certainly had not at all the patrician and upper class uh, prejudices of, uh, of a lot of people that would have been in his similar type of position. Avenue Foch is situated in one of the most elegant neighborhoods in Paris, some people describing it as the most beautiful in Europe. In the shadow of the Eiffel Tower, the street is filled with large stone apartment buildings, home for many of the leaders of the city as well as the nation. In the good times between the wars, the mayor of Paris and the head of the American hospital lived close by. During World War II, the avenue housed ranking members of the Gestapo. For years, chauffeured limousines parked in front of 58 Avenue Foch on the sunny side of the street, depositing their passengers on the sidewalk. Men often dressed in Brooks Brothers suits and their wives in the latest French fashion. They had been invited to lunch by their hosts, Nelson Dean Jay and his wife, and Augustine J. He was sitting in the in a uh, lounge chair, looking very dapper, and he said that he had something that he wanted to present to me, and it was in a little gray cloth sack. As I do the math on it, I realize that, you know, some of these things are quite possibly a hundred years old or more. And I think it's a really wonderful legacy to sort of see what this, you know, in a way it's, it's sort of part of him continuing on. He'd grown up very poor, of course, and he'd learned to fit into a very shiny <laughs> group of Morgan partners. He, I think, probably helped win the war, helped make America, you know, the, uh, the engine of the world economy um, that it slowly started becoming after World War I. The bottom line is, who was Dean Jay and why was he significant? And also, why, why haven't we heard about him before?